So first uh, let us define what is surface impedance. The surface impedance is uh, represented as Z suffix S which is defined as the ratio of uh, the tangential component of electric field that is E tan divided by the surface current density Js. So that means if you are having a conducting surface like this existing in horizontally and it is having its depth that is the conductor is existing in the other directions so let us consider this as x direction and this is y direction then if you see the surface we are considering on the x direction so the initial value of uh, the current density on the surface we can express in terms of its conductivity that is sigma multiplied by its tangential component of electric field e tan we know it very well and if you go into the deep into the uh, depth of uh, conductor in the y direction so this initial value will decrease exponentially like this and that exponential function is depending on its propagation constant gamma so that means this curve we can express as the current density j is decreasing as j naught into e power minus gamma y now if you want the total current density of this entire conductor existing in x and the y directions so that we can express as the total surface current density js as from integral 0 to infinity of j and this can be written as j is equals to integral 0 to infinity where j is given by j naught into e power minus gamma y with respect to dy now if we integrate this j naught is constant taking outside j naught into for e power minus gamma y the integration is e power minus gamma y divided by to minus gamma and the integral limits are 0 to infinity right now applying the limits so it is j naught by minus gamma will be as it is upper limit e power minus infinity into y so we will get it as 0 and minus e power 0 1 so we will get finally minus 1 so so finally it is j naught by gamma and from the definition of surface impedance zs which is given by zs equals to e tan divided by js now e tan we will write as it is and in place of zs what we got is j naught by gamma j naught by gamma and here already the initial current density j naught is given as sigma into e tan so that means it will become e tan divided by j naught is sigma into e tan divided by gamma now e tan e tan gets cancelled so finally zs is gamma by sigma so this is the surface impedance of any conductor now let us prove the surface impedance as well as the intrinsic impedance of a good conductor will be same so for that let us consider gamma and eta formulas so in general we know that for any general medium or lossy dielectric medium we know that gamma is defined as square root of the product of two terms that is j omega mu and another term is sigma plus j omega epsilon know it very well now so what happens for good conductor so we know that a good conductor is one whose sigma value is approximately infinity so that means if you compare this sigma almost infinity so in this we can neglect uh, this j omega epsilon term compared with the uh, very high value or infinite value of uh, sigma now so for this good conductor so this gamma can be written as j omega mu into so here is since sigma is very far greater than j omega epsilon so we have to consider only sigma right therefore the zs is given as gamma by sigma now let us substitute the gamma value in this so gamma is 
स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ जे ओमेगा म्यू बाय सिग्मा एंड अंडर रूट यू आर हैविंग वन सिग्मा हियर सो फाइनली व्हाट यू विल गेट इज स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ बोथ न्यूमरेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर डिवाइडेड बाय सिग्मा सो स्क्वायर रूट विल बी एप्लीकेबल टू डिनोमिनेटर सिग्मा आल्सो व्हाई बिकॉज स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ sigma and square root of sigma gets cancelled right now in the other side coming to eta value so eta is the ratio of these two terms that is square root of j omega mu divided by sigma plus j omega epsilon right then again for good conductors what happens sigma is almost infinity so then in the denominator we can neglect j omega epsilon then eta will become square root of j omega mu by so we have to consider the highest value sigma only so therefore if you compare zs which is given by square root of j omega mu by sigma and eta also square root of j omega mu by sigma so this is happening for good conductors so that means we can prove that and already we have proved that for good conductors eta is a square root of j omega mu by sigma and zs is also square root of j omega mu by sigma so finally for good conductors either it is intrinsic impedance or surface impedance both are same hence proved